Okay, so the details of the Trevor Story contract with the Red Sox are out. Now it's six years, $140 million. Um, I'll tell you this. Uh, I think the Yankees dodged a bullet there. So it would have been nice to have him as a nice piece. But again, <laughs> he would have definitely been forced to sit a productive player had they brought him in. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But the Yankees did bring in Marwin Gonzalez, not a sexy name. But keep this in mind, he has playoff experience with the Houston Astros. He was a productive guy, and they brought him in as a utility player. So he can play the infield and the outfield, which gives them versatility. They also brought in Ender and Ciarte a couple months ago. Um on a minor league deal to be maybe a fourth or fifth outfielder so they brought in two guys and again not flashy guys I know people probably don't want to hear it but um, you know they both have playoff experience and the Yankees can use that okay veteran experience again too and guys with you know with a reputation for playing hard hard nosed baseball hustling being locked in and focused things that the Yankees have had problems with over the last couple of years so if they pan out they pan out you know but again um that's the move that the Yankees made today. Obviously, whether Trevor Story or Carlos Gray came, it still doesn't address the biggest need, which is starting pitching. And I said that in the live stream. I've been saying that for months. Okay, so, and I still believe that. Some people agree, some people don't. But, um, you know, I, I do think the Yankees will bring in a pitcher. And probably, my, my gut's telling me that Cashman's going to pull some trick or trade out of his hat. That's gonna, And he's going to acquire a pitcher from somewhere that we're not even thinking of. Instead of just uh, Luis Castillo or Frankie Montez or, or Sean Manet, the, the three names that everybody's talking about on a regular basis, he has a tendency to do these things. So, um, But again, still, I still give them an incomplete until he brings in the number two starting pitcher. So make sure you subscribe to the channel one way or another so you don't miss uh, when the Yankees do acquire one. And they better acquire one. They better. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of, lot of pissed off fans. And, and, and I think it's going to be a big mistake if you just expect Luis Severino to go out there and throw 180 innings and be the number two guy. I don't think it's a smart idea. So I expect the Yankees to bring in a starting pitcher one way or another. But right now, Marwin Gonzalez is heading to the Bronx. Talk to you next time.